now now the question comes here is question is eliminating non determinism eliminating non determinism or if we do left left factoring both are the same thing right so eliminating non determinism or doing left factoring will it will it eliminates ambiguity as well will it eliminates ambiguity also now this is the question so if we are doing if we are doing non determin eliminating non determinism or if we are doing left factoring so will it eliminates the ambiguity also let's check it out so as we have converted uh, the the previous grammar as we converted the previous grammar into deterministic grammar so that was this right as dash epsilon es and e drives b so this was deterministic which we converted from non deterministic right now let's check it out now we have we have eliminate we have eliminated the non determinism from this grammar right now we are checking whether this grammar is ambiguous or not so take the same string i e t i e t s e s now let's try to generate this e t s and s dash right now if you generate i e t s and s dash so we can take it es from this and this is epsilon so we are getting i e t i e t s e s so we are getting this let's uh, let's try to make um if we are getting let's try to check if we are getting more than one pass through or not so we can take it something like this i e t s s dash right and then we can i e t s s dash and if we can take it this epsilon as epsilon and this is e n s so we are getting again the same string right and there are more than one part string so this grammar this grammar is also ambiguous grammar so what does that mean that means we can say that eliminating non determinism or doing left factoring will not eliminate ambiguity clear eliminating non determinism or left factoring does not eliminate ambiguity so ambiguity will always be there even if you convert a non deterministic grammar to deterministic grammar ambiguity will remain there clear now so if we talk about what is the root of this ambiguity what is the root of this ambiguity let's see this so we have we were we were trying to generate this string right so we were trying to generate this string so we are we are saying here that what is the root of this ambiguity why it is ambiguous now if you see clearly this let's let me draw the pass tree e t s right now here e i e t s e s so there is a confusion that this l statement whether it is linked to this if or whether it is linked to whether it is linked to this if right so there is this ambiguity there is a confusion that else statement is linked to which of the ifs whether this one or this one so this is the ambiguity it is the main reason of this ambiguity so ambiguity is not because of non determinism ambiguity is due to inherent property of the language okay and here in this grammar the ambiguity is because of because the confusion that whether this else this is else right whether this is whether this, uh, this else is related or linked to this if statement or whether it is linked to this if statement so this is the root cause of ambiguity in case of this grammar clear now we will see few examples how we can uh, convert or how we can eliminate non determinism okay
so let's take this let's take few examples suppose we have something like this a s s b s or a s a s b a b b or b so as we can see this is non deterministic grammar why this is non deterministic grammar because because you can see there uh, there is the common prefix a s a s right or a s can be the common prefix among these two productions or or single a single a can also be the common prefix this is in top two productions this is in top three productions right so we can consider any one any one of this and we can try to eliminate non determinism right so either we can take uh, the first two productions or and take uh, common prefix as as or we can take the first three productions and we can take the common prefix as a right so now let's consider a uh, small a as the we can take both the cases but now we are considering small a as the common prefix here okay so let's try to take small a as common so what we will get a now the remaining part will be s dash right and here b due to this production now s dash can be s s b s right or s a s b or b b from this s s b s s a s b and b b right we have taken small a from these three productions right and s dash can be this now if we see carefully if we see carefully here also here also it is non determinism because there is a common prefix in two productions right so now we have to convert this as well into deterministic so what we can do here is take s as common and rest as double s double dash right and we can also write bb from this production now s double dash can be s b s or a s b from this from this one from this one right now this is the whole grammar the whole deterministic grammar will look like this s drives a s dash or b s dash drives s s double dash or bb and s double dash derives s b s or a s b now if you see, now if you see there is no there is no common prefix here it is s here it is a here it is b here it is s here it is a here it is b so there is no common prefix so this is deterministic grammar right so we have eliminated non determinism from the given grammar clear now let's take another example now let's take this example so we have b s s a a s or b s s a s b or b s b or a so as we can see this is this is non deterministic grammar why i am saying this because you can see b s s right b s s is common b s s a is common among the first two among the first two productions right or we can also see like this we can also take we can also take b s as common b s as common so there can be more uh, more cases like and b s is common so b s is common in top 3 productions b s s a is common in top 2 productions right so there can be many cases possible clear so we can take any one of the case so let's take this case b s as common in top 3 productions so how we can convert this into deterministic let's take b s as common rest is s dash and this a so a right now this s dash we can write it like this 
Now this is s dash, right? This is s dash, and this is. So it will be s a a s, clear? Or it can be s a s b, or it can be b, clear? Now if you see carefully, if you see carefully, here also, here also it is non-determinism because sa is the common prefix so we have to convert this grammar into deterministic grammar as well so we can write something like this take sa as common and s double dash as the rest of the things and we can write here is b then s double dash then we have this as and sb so as right or sb so now if you see now if you see we don't have any common prefix here it is s here it is b here it is a here it is s so no common prefix now we can write the whole grammar like this s drives b s s dash or a and s drives s dash drives s a s double dash or b and s double dash drives a s or s b so this is the deterministic grammar clear is it clear now <clears throat> and we can also take one more case like we can take bss as a common we can take bss as common as well so there can be many cases and now uh, take after taking this example so it will get clear to you how we can convert a non determinism non deterministic grammar into deterministic grammar clear Okay.